Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Uh, today's topic, Angels, Gabriel to Nazareth. Scripture reference is out of Luke 1, verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. In the Hebrew, Gabriel, Gabriel, means man of El or man of God, the El is the God in the Hebrew. Uh, some also interpret the name to mean God is my strength. And we have a time point given in the verse, the sixth month. And so the question begs, what's the sixth month of a Hebrew calendar? It's not June. After all, the Jewish people keep two calendars, a civil and spiritual calendar. In today's 21st century world, Israel follows a civil calendar, and the Jewish New Year takes place in the fall on Rosh Hashanah in the month of Tishri. God has other instructions. He made the directions very clear to Moses. God states the first month of the year is Nisan in the spring, Nisan. Moses was to proclaim this calendar to the people of Israel. God's new year begins in and around spring. And we go to Exodus 12, verse 2. This month shall be for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. You want to look a little further into that, check out Exodus 12 and subsequent verses post verse 2. Now the Lord makes further notations regarding time when it comes to the fall feasts. His fall appointments begin in the seventh month, Tishri. We get that from Numbers 29 verse 1 part A. Now in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall also have a holy convocation. We can also get the same information from Leviticus 23, verses 23 through 25. As God defines and keeps time, the month before the seventh month of Tishri is the sixth month of Elul. The Hebrew month of Elul typically lines up with the Gregorian month of August on a Western calendar. So we've got those things in mind. We want to take a look at Isaiah 11, verse 1. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Now the focus in this prophetic verse above from Isaiah is on the word branch. It's the Hebrew word netzer. Uh, it is netzer or branch or offspring who will bear fruit. The Hebrew tune term netzer is transliterated to the Greek term natserah, natseret, or nazareth, natsereth. So, so take your pick on that. And um, quick map here. So here's Jerusalem in the south. Straight north is Nazareth. And the town of Nazareth is specifically mentioned only in the New Testament, and it occurs six times. John 1, verse 46, Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Now, back in the day, Nazareth was not exactly held in high esteem by the people of Israel. Morality was not a strength of the locals. And God the Father had his chosen son come from the worthless country, Hick Town of Nazareth. That's God's will. That's what he thought would be best for his son. Bring him out of Nazareth, a little podunk town up north. So, no doubt, people identified with Nazareth, with Jesus. Nazareth was Jesus' hometown. We get that from Matthew 21, verse 11. And the crowds, crowds, people, said this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. So it's got the city and the region of Galilee, again, north of Jerusalem. And even the spirits and demons knew Jesus came from Nazareth. We got a couple of examples of that. Mark 1, verse 24, what, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Also, Luke 4, verse 34. Ha, huh? what have you come to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. So even demons and spirits know where Jesus come from. And I'm going to close this up. So, you, you know, going back to the point, it's Gabriel. He's an angel, a messenger of God. He's going to the countryside town of Nazareth, which means branch. He was sent late in the summer 
when the region is hot and dry and plants struggle to survive. And again, we know that from the, quote, sixth month, the Hebrew month of Elul. And Elul is a call to attention. It's the beginning of teshuva. Repent. Return to God. Seek his word. Gabriel is delivering a message of hope to Israel in this little town. And the message is, the branch is coming. So if you like these sorts of things, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. This is going to be located under the category angels. And if you would like to subscribe, you can scroll up here on the right. Type in your email address in this blue box. There will also be another blank box where you could do the same thing as well. So appreciate you guys following along. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.